Hey guys, it's Miss Webb. Um, today I'm doing a video on number 117 in the green book. So this is for my eighth graders and then any of my seventh graders who are in the green book and sixth graders when you get in the green book, this will also be for you. Um, first thing we need to talk about with 117 is the key signature. So let me get my book over here so I can actually say it. Your key signature in this one is concert E flat. So if you are a flute or your tuba, baritone, trombone, or mallet, you've got B flat, E flat, and A flat, okay? And then clarinets and trumpets, you have B flat, one flat, B flat, okay? And then altos, F naturals, okay? Three on top, pointer on the bottom, F natural, so there's no sharps for you, okay? And then horn, horn, you have two flats, you have B flat and E flat, okay? So, um, with this one horns, I'm going to go ahead and tell you it's going to be easier to play the high part than the low part because it's going to make more sense. So in this case, it's going to be this E flat. Okay, trigger one. Okay, and then high F is trigger. All right, the next thing we need to talk about with this one, obviously, is the rhythm. Okay, so in measure one and then through almost every other measure, you see this rhythm. Okay. Now, you're looking at that rhythm going, oh my gosh, what is that? I don't know what it is. Yes, you do, actually. You've actually heard this rhythm before, you just don't know it, okay? Um, if you take out the eighth notes, this part right here, okay? That's the beginning of Mortal Kombat. Da 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 Okay, if you take out, you take out this part. Da da da. Da, 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 da. That's Mortal Kombat. So you've played this rhythm before, you just don't know. Okay? The first thing we're going to do with this is we're going to establish what types of notes we have in here. Okay? And by types, I mean like quarter, half, whole, eight, sixteenth, whatever. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're, I'm going to point out to you the eighth notes. Okay? That's an eighth note. And these are eighth notes. Okay, and I'll put that over here eighth notes okay and we know that when we count eighth notes it has to be a one and two and okay or some variation thereof right okay it equals half a beat then we have these two these these are 16th notes okay which we know we count one E and a, okay? Now, like we've done in just about every other video where there's tricky rhythms, you want to break these rhythms down into their smallest components. Now, I'm not gonna break down the two eighth notes because I think you can handle two eighth notes, okay? French fry, right? One and, two and, whatever, okay? So, we're gonna break down this one. This is a scary one, right? So, we're gonna pretend it's all 16, so here we go. One, E, and, ah, oh, okay. I'm gonna draw my little 16th notes. Remember, 16th notes have to have two bars, okay? Now, how do we get this from this? I'm so glad you asked. The first thing I want you to notice is, this is going to be one beat. These three notes equal one total beat altogether because they are beamed together. And it won't always be like that, but considering that we are in, the time signature 2-4, and this is one measure. It's easy to assume that this grouping is going to be a beat and this grouping is going to be a beat because that's how they're shown to us. Okay, so how do we get this to equal this and vice versa? All right, well, the first note and the last note are 16th notes, so it's probably gonna be these two. Okay, and we know that we count this one, E, and, uh, okay, so we can just assume that this is probably one, and this is probably up because they're in the same place as this. The confusion comes from the sink and eighth note in here, right? We're like, what do we do with it? Okay, well, we've already established that one and a uh are already up there, so we're only left with e and. So e and has these two have to be in this somehow. How do we get two sixteenth notes to be one eighth note? Easy. You tie them together. Okay. One eighth note 
equals two sixteenth notes tied together. Okay? These are the same thing. This is one half, and these equal one half. Okay? So, since they're tied together, we're going to do this. E and Anne's going to be little. Okay? So that means, let me erase this for you, so it's a little less confusing. This rhythm is counted one E, uh, and then since we know we're in two form, we've used all the beat one, and we know this has to be a separate beat, this is going to be two and. One E, a two and. One E, a two and. Okay? Now, I'm going to use my shoe and a metronome. And I'm going to play it, or I'm not going to play it right now, I'm going to tap it for you. So, let's turn on our handy dandy metronome. Hopefully you can hear that. Here's my shoe. Get our beat going. Two, here I go. One E, a two, and. 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 So, you see... The E and a uh are kind of uh, not quite down, but not quite up. So E is like halfway to up. So like we got one E and a, uh, okay? Right, one E and a, uh, two E and a. Uh. Okay, if you were to break your tap down into fours, okay? Now. You guys know I personally love to use sodas and food to count rhythms, okay? Because a lot of, sometimes it's easier because we've been using words longer. So sometimes for us to learn rhythms, it makes more sense to use words than the numbers. Now, should you know the numbers? Yes, because you may not know. If you don't know the numbers, you won't know, hey, start on beat two. You're not going to know where beat two is, all right? That's why we have the numbers. We got to have those, Okay. The words are there to help you understand how it should sound. So I've come up with a phrase for this. Okay, now you guys know I use French fry for eighth notes, right? You know this. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do this. French fry, okay, cool. All right, now I could use some variation of French fry in here, but it'd be really hard because there's only one eighth note. So, you know, do I use French? Do I use fry? I don't know. So we're going to say French fry only happens when they're like this. Okay? I have come up with a new one for this particular rhythm. Okay? It's called Fritos and. Because if you've ever had the Fritos chips, not very many people like to eat just Frito chips. In fact, corn chips by themselves without salsa or, or some kind of dip aren't they don't taste that good, at least to me. I know there are weirdos out there who really like them, but and if you're one of those people, that's fine. You do you. But most of the time, you're not eating Fritos by themselves. You use Fritos and something else. Fritos and chili. Fritos and salsa. Frito and dip. Whatever. Okay? So whenever you see this one, this is going to be free toes and. Fritos and french fries, okay? Fritos and french fry, that's how we do it. Fritos and french fry. By following me? So I'm gonna tap my little foot, get my metronome going, and I'll sing a little bit of this song for you and then I'll play some of it. Here we go. Fritos and french fry, Frito and french fry, Fritos and french fry, Coke. Okay, that's the first four measures. I'm gonna do it again, I'm gonna do it again. Two, here I go. Fritos and French fries, Fritos and French fries, Fritos and French fries, Coke. Okay? Or if I were to do that with the numbers, here I go. One E, a two, and one E, a two, and one E, a two, and one. Follow me? Okay. So, I'm going to play a little bit of this for you. I'm not going to play the whole thing of this one because one, it's long. Two, there's a stupid page turn in here using my score that I can't do and play horn at the same time because horn is a two-handed instrument. Life's not fair sometimes. So I'm going to play the first four measures of this for you. Um, and hopefully that'll be helpful to you for you can figure out the rhythms, okay? So here I go.
All right, here I go. Here's the metronome. One, two, here I go. Okay, did you hear it? Fritos and French fry, Fritos and French fry, Fritos and French fry, Cokes. Okay, I hope that helps. Um, if you have any more questions, let me know. I'll make a better recording of this one and send out um, when I'm not trying to make a video at the same time. <laughs> and um, I can see both pages or have my husband come help me turn pages because two hands. I need a third for this, but that's okay. All right, guys, I hope that helps. I miss you guys. I hope you're doing okay. I hope you're all safe and healthy and not going crazy. Hopefully I'll get to see you soon. Okay, bye.